More painting, more seating, more electrics, more of everything. And yes, welcome back to Suzukiville. Thought I'd just clean that up before I uh, put everything back together again. Uh, apparently it's silver, not black. So that's good. Um, talking of which, I'm looking at the forks. So another distraction here, looking at the forks, thinking, not sure how I'm going to get rid of that mottled effect. Uh, but I could potentially spray them when the wheel comes off again to fit the right size tyre. I could spray them the same as the tank and the seat. That would look quite cool. If they don't clean up, I'll see. Uh, spend a bit of time cleaning them, see what happens. Not now though. So I was watching some kid on YouTube the other night, um, last night in fact, polishing metal. Uh, it didn't do a very good job of these bits, I have to say. So whoever did this did it very well. Uh, but it was t he was talking about getting rid of that kind of stuff and actually sanding it out with a fairly abrasive paper to start with and then polishing and polishing and polishing. However, he painted these matte black and I thought I'd paint them my metallic blue. And of course, three of them came off relatively easy with a little bit of oil and uh, one of them I had to use this, the impact driver, which is a marvelous tool because it goes in there and just turns it a fraction at the same time as going forward so putting pressure on which is where you end up burring things like phillips screws so i shall be replacing those with uh, allen bolts yeah that blue color there it's a lovely color did i say that before and i thought i'd do these at the same time while i'm about it with the uh the heat shields the exhaust they go um Right there, right there. Yeah, I think it's a nice little touch. As it's heat resistant to um, extremely hot, that's quite good. So having done those, I am really seriously considering doing the, uh, the front forks the same. Uh, at least they need cleaning up one way or another, but I think they'd look quite good in that blue. And then the chrome, and then a load of black, and a little bit of red, and then the colour again. Yeah. That'll work nicely. Hmm. Back on this saga and I've elected to use some really fine, like 1200 grit uh, sandpaper to try and get rid of that edge. So I'm just going to give it a quick hit with some paint just to see what that actually looks like. It feels better, but I don't know. And I literally focused on that point there, so we're still going to have somewhat of a ridge down here. Well, I've literally just hit it with the paint, uh, which is why it's got that lovely gloss on it, which disappears. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. Difficult to tell. Still looks like a bit of a ridge to me. Oh, I don't know. Well, it looked like it had kind of half done it by the time it started to semi-dry. So I hit it with some more of that primer filler. And we'll see what happens with that. In which case, what I might do down here, where we've got the same problem, and here, is just hit those patches with some primer filler and then sand it with uh, the ultra fine paper. No matter what else I've heard about Jolene, um, she's certainly tenuous. I am. I've been doing a little bit more um, designing of parts because I'm quite enjoying this potential. Uh, whether it's uh, 3D printed or something else, I'm thinking of something like this to go on top of the, uh, the yoke of the Suzuki. Well, there you go. Um, yes, it's a little flappy, isn't it? A little frapey around the edges. Uh, I need to shave a bit off and maybe 
put it round that to secure it even more, not that it needs securing because it's going to be bolted down through those holes and potentially we need to get a little bit more creative around this edge just to make it a little bit more funky. That's kind of cool. Maybe. Well, that's quite sexy, isn't it? Yes, I've put them on. Um, I've only got a few little wires here to sort out now. So, um, yeah, coming together nicely at the front end. Sweet. I'm really pleased with how this is coming along. Nice product. A little cheap and cheerful, even though they weren't cheap, but yeah, cool. Few miscalculations, missed the holes by a mile, uh, 10 mil, exactly. pretty much. 135 millimeter adjustment is between the posts, because you can see the paper's kind of crinkling up there, so it's a little bit large. Time for step two. So what I ended up doing is using a wooden block um, because I normally use my hands and of course they're flexible, skin is flexible and uh, this provides a flat edge when you're sanding and I probably should have done this ages ago but let's see if it works. I think it might, I hope it would. Whatever happens with this I've already decided that this bit the recess is gonna be uh, matte black. Yeah. Maybe flat bag truck paint crinkle effect matte black. Because that will cover up all those imperfections. Rhino paint or whatever. The... Alright, version number one. Possible. Mm, not bad. Version number two. quite like that. I shall develop both of them further, although actually that one's kind of done. Yeah, except the measurement between the two uh, two forks is neither 140mm or 135 so I need to check that again. Bloody is 140mm. Alright, back to the drawing board. See, I've got a better idea. I think what I might do with that panel is what I did with the MV Augusta by mistake and uh, mix up some paints while they're still wet and see what happens some blues in fact including that um what is it that ultra shiny stuff that one yeah that might be interesting he who dares wins rodney prototypes number four and five i think i'm losing count well there's that option which is a little bit large for my liking Well, there's that option, which I'm leaning towards. So I'm using exactly the same technique, if you can call it that, that I used on the MB. So that is a metallic blue paint that I originally bought for the MB uh, many moons ago. And now I'm going to use this stuff on top of it. Anodized coating. Yes. Um, this is the base base coat, just a normal duplicolor perfect match doofer, yeah. and this is what created that leather effect. And I can't remember how dry or otherwise it was when I did this last time, so it's all a bit hit and miss, let's see what happens. crinkling at all is it? Uh, give it time. No sign of crazy paving so far. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, maybe I'll spray a bit of that other stuff on top. Well no matter how many times I tried it and both ways round with the base coat first and the other stuff on top uh, or the other way round um, made no difference. A lot of overspray. Oops. Uh, and it doesn't matter because I'm going to sand it all down anyway uh, apart from that bit. Um, 
so yeah not the desired effect uh, not a bad effect needs a little bit of imagination at this point but um, yeah okay we'll see I like the idea mm, black would be just as good I suppose but eh, I'm going to try and live with that and um, obviously clean up the edges <laughs> while I'm sanding all this down and I've done it a little bit more filling again as you can see um, but we are getting there so that's good news so eventually these turned up for the Suzuki yes the uh, the foot pegs and um, yeah quite the palaver obviously so they came supplied with these ultra long bolts which is nice because you can cut them short right if you need to so that's cool um, no complaints um, but of course they're way too long because I have the adaptive from a 10 to 8 in there and so this was too short too long without the spacer that they provided so again thanks and um, too short with the spacer and this one slightly longer slightly longer yeah still didn't work thankfully i had two of these yes which were perfect so there it is in all its glory yeah we like that cool oh, yes and thankfully i have these uh, which i think were ricky boobies um, or Kurtz, but yeah, long reach Allen key things, yeah, crucial because otherwise, how are you going to get down there without one of these? I had the choice of putting the spacer obviously inside the tube, which again was a nice touch from the manufacturer, or the outside, but given i've already extended that with that adapter nut from 10 to 8 um i decided i elected to put it inside and i think that just pokes out enough honestly so let's end this episode on a high note at least and uh, resume sanding and painting and sanding and painting and uh, i'm not going to video that because yeah i'll show you the end result so thanks again for watching uh, do tune in again to see progress and uh, make sure you subscribe please and like the video as well uh, don't worry about the bell thing then. Yes. And encourage others to watch my lunacy